Hello and thank you for joining me today. This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations with the Stamp Around UK Video Hop Crew. And today's, or this month's theme is to do with layers and textures. So I'm going to use a Full of Love stamp set and I'm going slightly vintagey and seeing where this takes us. In front of me I've got a piece of very vanilla and I'm going in with this image from the Full of Love stamp set and I want you to create some depth and layers so I'm going to do uh, a decoupage style card so I'm going to stamp this in the background with soft suede and then I'm going to stamp the image again on a scrap piece And then I'm going to stamp again because I want to cut out those flowers as well. So the first piece we're going to cut out is the envelope from this image. So we can create a layer. And then I thought I could cut out these flowers. From the image also. So I'm just going to have a fussy cut around these and I'll meet you back after I've finished cutting these out. Okay I didn't realise that one of the flowers on the side were chopped off so I'm going to come back in and cut out yet another flower. I did wonder about doing the little uh, postage stamp as well, so I might just stamp that and then decide at the end whether we actually use the postage stamp or not. As I was cutting out that stamp, it gave me an idea about this punch and whether I can incorporate it in my card. So <laughs> I'm going to do something a bit brave and I'm just going to use the um, end of the punch with the card to see if I can create a, um, a stamped border along the edge, seeing if I can meet up the shapes to get a continuous border. Okay, that's not bad. I think that worked, so now I'm going to try it along the top. In order to vintage this up a little bit, I want to add some pale colours to the mix. So I'm going to bring in some of those skin tone type colours and some pale greens. Let's see how we get on. So the easiest thing to concentrate on would be the leaves. So I'm going to come in with soft sea foam. And I'm going to outline a bit with some mint macaron. So that was using 900 and this one is 800. And this is the 100. And then introduce pool party for the flowers. For the letter I'm going to use a crumb cake and I'm going to use the dark and the light. So I thought that was the dark crumb cake but that was ivory. So I'm just coming back in with the dark crumb cake and then I'm going to go over it with the light one. I want it to look aged like a vintage love letter. Okay to help vintage up my card a bit more I'm just going to add some blending around the edges so I think I'll go in with soft suede
Now, before I add anything on this, I'm just going to add some texture on it with this embossing folder here. Okay, so that's gone and giving, given it a nice texture. I'm just going to come in and add some ink on that now. So I'm going to use some dimensionals and we're going to stick these layers down. Matching up the layer that's underneath. I think I'm drawn towards these copper ones, so we could add, let's have a look. Yeah, I think they just give a really nice flower centre. I'm going to use the light to soft suede, let's see how that comes out. I concentrate in those corners more where you'll find those sort of aged spots in the corners. But add in a bit of dark as well. I'm just going to swipe a few bits around the edges and just do a couple of corners. Add on the heat and stick powder in my handy dandy tray. So to add a bit more texture to this, I just thought I've got the Ranunculus Romance stamp set, which sort of lends itself to this lovely vintage look. I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but I'm going to now, as an afterthought, add just a bit of this script with the crumb cake ink. Let's see what happens. I'm going to risk it. Lovely. So it just gives that subtle effects of writing and like a scripty look. Nice. Okay. And the other thing I thought about is adding a little tag. I was going to add it down here, but actually it might look quite sweet up here. So I'm just going to run that through the machine uh, with some very vanilla cardstock. In the Quiet Meadow <coughs> excuse me, stamp set, there is the word love, and that should fit on perfectly, I reckon. Okay, let's cut myself off some length. And I've doubled it over because I want that nice double thickness. And I'm going to create um, a loop for myself, so like you would with a tag, and then putting the two ends in like that. If I do a nice little zhuzhi bow on it, let's see if I can do this. A little bit tricky with a plaster on my finger, but let's see what we can do. I wonder if I just add some of these faux gems on here. Just to add some extra little texture. Okay, that will do. I'm just going to rub a little bit of that brush around the edge. Just to take that starkness off of that pink colour. Then I thought to vintage this up a little bit I'm just going to come in with, okay we're going to go crumb cake and I'm just going to add a bit of this text around the edge of the card. Then we're ready to stick and you can just see around the edges that lovely detail. 
just to finish off it even more I'm just going to come in with some splashes of Wink of Stella just to make it sparkle and shine and then we have our layered textured card so do go along and please follow the hop to find out what everybody else has done under the theme layers and textures and do come and support the UK demonstrators by thumbsing upping, commenting in the description box below, in the comment box rather. And we really do appreciate your support. So thank you so much for doing that. Take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic day. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Bye for now.